the most prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this, the final itself. Who will prevail? It's PSG and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crowd. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Lucas Hernandez plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar in the wide positions. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Neymar waiting to take it on. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Vinicius Junior. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. There's a long time to go in this game. Good build-up, but no end product. De Jong. Henry. Real chance. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. to get it away properly Not high quality defending Mbappe back to Holland Barca maintain possession advantage Ronaldo must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. On to Holland. Hernandez. Vitor Pereira is with Vinicius Junior. 
and racing away here. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Verratti trying to up and up the defence. What a commitment to defending! Gabby. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Well, he's given it away. Marquinhos. Verratti now. Gone out of play, goal kick coming up. G doing well to regain possession. Manuel Lugarte. Ferreira. Holland. Now he must favour the cross. Mukiele. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, that's it now. Marquinhos. Mukiele. A very timely interception. And Neymar. Friends over for now. Marquinhos. Marco Verratti is with Vinicius Junior. Fruitful looking attack. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. corner it is and he's gone for power so close to finding the net Cristiano Ronaldo getting forward and making his move inside Very good tackle. Neymar. Stopped a certain goal. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Siro.
So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And intercepted it. He might well have been tempted to book him for that. Resisted the temptation. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Lionel Messi. And over comes the corner. And still dangerous. De Jong. Now Messi. Can he get them in front? Four blocks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. taken short not messing around with that clearance Ronaldo now with De Jong oh that goes down as a wonderful save but hang on offside is the decision here Marco Verratti. Mbappe. Now with Vinicius Junior. Fabian. The verdict is offside here. On to Holland. Can he finish? Couldn't quite hang on. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. Well, at some point, PSG have to take one of these chances because their build up play deserves to see them in front here. As those stats tell us, they've carved out so many good openings. Cristiano Ronaldo De Jong and return to Messi and an astute piece of defending PSG looking dangerous and a fine cross and the ball is loose attending to his defensive chores And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, a disappointing end to that break. Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches.
short corner here. And able to get a body in the way. He's going forward well here. Mukiele. Back to Holland. And danger still. But not to be. It is offside. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo striding forward with confidence. And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Lucas Hernandez. Verazzi now. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Couldn't find a teammate, throw in here. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Pembe and tidy defensive play De Jong and level it is in the waning moments can Barcelona change that situation still an opportunity and it just pleases her dad well goalkeepers don't come much better than Donnarumma and he's proved it yet again with that save there brilliant stuff Failure to keep it there from Gundogan. Bukiele. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Fabian. And the advantage is with PSG. shortage of space for Barcelona that's into to cross into the centre and well positioned to clear oh super piece of play they couldn't quite muster a real threat not quite the players they were hoping for well that's it for the 90 minutes but this is not over and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strange sapping night for all concerned. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, 
what the card is at, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. De Jong. And Zufati. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Oh, that's a fine save. And the short option preferred. Spot on with that challenge. It needs an accurate cross. Firing it towards goal. And able to close down the shot. Barcelona in the quest to take the lead. Might be helped out by this corner. short one here and the cross work out for them danger still on and defensive resilience there not the Mukieli just straying offside Frankie de Jong and Torres on the ball Gundogan Neymar excellent block well Barcelona have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have got the ball into some really good positions you just feel it's only a matter of time before they get their goal now can they win back possession and that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer Absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. It's a short one. Pulls it back. Verratti. Kimpembe. Well, you've got to say, comfortably off target, Stuart. Yeah, that's a waste of good possession. His teammates are not happy with him, and they're letting him know. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Ansu Fati. And he has options available. De Jong. And the first period of extra time comes to an end, still level here. And so the drama continues here, we're into the second period of extra time. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Short. 
to be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Good idea. It wouldn't quite go in for him. Couldn't make the breakthrough. Well, that was a decent chance. He needed to make the goalkeeper work, really. We still wait for the opener. Hernandez. Good high press. And the advantage is with PSG. High quality defending. And Sufati. That's a useful cross. Sound piece of defending. Well, five minutes remaining. The second period of extra time. Kangin Lee. Textbook defending inside the box. Gundogan. Jules Kunde on the ball. Barcelona on the attack in the closing moments. Still level here. Perfect challenge. And Neymar must take the lead here. Oh, he's been foiled. How pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well, it's a good save, but that was the chance to win the game there. That could be their last opportunity. Sending it in. And it has all come down to this in the Champions League final. A shootout to determine the winners. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. He had to score, and he does. Can he convert? Well, some people might have had doubts about his run-up, but the referee didn't see anything wrong. And the penalty converted down the middle. And he steps up to take his penalty. And slots it home right into the bottom corner. Excellent penalty. Job done from the spot. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. In it goes. He scored in the bottom corner. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. So lethal in front of goal. So much pressure. If he fails to score, they lose. And there it is! That brings it to a conclusion. And a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastating. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mode has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here.
Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories.